So to put all of that in perspective, that's a government map you're seeing right now, and it tracks that air quality index across the country. Minnesota, as Mace points out, some of the worst air quality in these United States right now. And for more on that, here's Morgan Wolf on how it can impact all of you. We're dry throughout Minnesota, especially in northeast Minnesota. Drought conditions are feeling similar to 2021 and fire officials are worried. That was the summer when the Greenwood fire burned through more than 25,000 acres in the Superior National Forest. Leading up to kind of this point, um, you know, we've had a, a slower start to the fire season. We had a delayed start to spring. But once spring really kicked in and that dryness continued to extend, we're starting to see more of a comparison to where we were just two years ago in 2021. So we're about three or more inches below our normal level of precipitation. And that's really um, contributing to the high fire danger that we're seeing throughout northern Minnesota. Currently, state drought numbers show that 59.7% of Minnesota is abnormally dry. Some areas like Anoka County saw the fifth driest May on record, even though it might not look that dry out. Green is simply a color. It's not an indication of the fire danger that is present. Minnesota Incident Command System says that they are ready to respond when needed, but the responsibility of preventing fires, it ultimately falls on all of us, the public. As crews fight a wildfire near Spice Lake and the Boundary Waters Canoe Area, there are new campfire bans announced this week. The Boundary Waters and Voyagers Park are only allowing campfires in designated campsites. The DNR extended that to their state areas in Carleton, Cook, Lake, and St. Louis counties. Also, they will not be approving new burning permits in those areas. And the bans, they're going to be in place until conditions get better. Nine times out of ten, wildfires can be directly contributed to human activity. And there are consequences to that human activity. Any violations of those fire bans can earn you a fine of up to $5,000.